Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm just holding you guys up on my little Manfrotto tripod rather than putting these up. But as you can tell by the title down below in this video, I'm going to be making some lemon thyme chicken thighs in the slow cooker and oh, it's going to be delicious. So I'm going to serve it with like mashed potatoes and veggies. But I'm just going to show you guys how to season and how to cook these thighs. So we'll get straight into the ingredients. So this is the slow cooker I'm using. It's my mom's, like I said in my previous video. And there's a couple of other slow cooker meals I'm still one thing to do before I give this back um, so make sure to keep an eye out for those when they come up but for today we're doing chicken thighs so these are covered with the bone in there's three in each so we'll be using six thighs and very minimal ingredients so obviously salt pepper vegetable powder some garlic lemon and some thyme I'm not sure how juicy these lemons will be I might need to use a couple but I just got one out for now. I do have more in the fridge if I do need more, but that's all the ingredients for like the chicken pot. All right, so I've got the chicken thighs in the pot already. I've seasoned them with salt and pepper. They're upside down, so I'm just going to flip them all the right side, and then I'll go over with salt and pepper again, so it's on the top as well. All right, so the flipped over salt and pepper is on now both sides. I got my lemon. I just want to. Oh man. I thought it wasn't going to be juicy. I want to squeeze the juice. Try to. I did roll it as well. It's just not a juicy one. There we go. Over. Oh, I might be alright. So juice over and I'm going to pop that there. And same with the other side. And obviously you can see the seeds are going in. That doesn't matter because we'll just pick them out when they're done. Juice on this one, pop that there. My garlic I've just roughly chopped so I'll just sprinkle that on a few. And thyme, I want a decent bunch of fresh thyme and we're just going to lay that down over the chicken. That already looks so good. Also with the chicken breast, I didn't um, like take off any of the fat. Mine is already skinless, so there's no skin, but as you can see, there is some fatty bits. We can take that off when we like cut it to eat. And the fat's gonna just help it keep it nice and moist. All right, so my stock powder measurements is one heat teaspoon to four cups of water. I only want about half a cup of stock, so I'm just going to do half a teaspoon. It's obviously going to be a little bit stronger, but that's okay. It's just more flavor. I feel like anyway, one heap teaspoon. I normally do one heap teaspoon to one cup, and that's like good. I couldn't imagine doing four cups of water to just one heap teaspoon. I feel like that would be so weak. So half a teaspoon in there, and I just boiled my water. I'm going to do about half a cup. Give that a mix. Pour it over. So that's just going to help give it some more flavour. It's going to help, um, like when the thyme gets cooked and soft and drooped down, it's going to season the stock as well. Um, same with the lemon. So on high, we're going to leave this for about four hours. It's almost 4 p.m. now, so we are going to have tea quite late. But um, should have done this a couple of hours ago, but I didn't. So late tea tonight, but that's okay because it's pretty much done now. All right, so potato is all mashed. I got veggies, that's all done. This chicken's been in now for four hours. On the last hour, I did turn it down to um, low. It smells so good. Alright, so let's try to get a piece. Yum. Um, I might scoop up some of these juices to put on 
hot, but I'll do that in just a minute. I'll do the mash and veggies, put that on our plates first. So that is our dinner done. So we've got obviously the lemon thyme chicken, slowly cooked, veggies and mash. I was thinking about doing the gravy, or more so the mash and the veg, but hopefully this will be a little juicy. And if we need some more juices, we can obviously come back to the pot and add some more. And we got a couple of pieces for leftover as well. All right, so that was all for today's video. Nice, quick and easy video and obviously quick and easy for you guys to watch and quick and easy to make, quick and easy everything. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. I'm gonna go so I can dig into this chicken and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.